Decision 2016. Tonight we continue our coverage of the 8th Congressional District race. NBC 26's Marissa DeCandido sat down with Republican candidate Mike Gallagher to hear where he stands on the issues. We're going to talk about Social Security. Tell me exactly where you stand and what your plan would be for Social Security if you are elected. Sure. As I said from the start of the campaign, um, I'm committed to preserving and protecting Social Security. I was just at McCormick home uh, a couple weeks ago visiting my great uncle Don. He lives there. Uh, he's in a great environment there. He couldn't afford his room and board if it weren't for his Social Security benefits. People stand to lose 20% of their benefits in less than 20 years if we continue down the current course. And I will work with people from both sides of the aisle to ensure Social Security is protected. I will not change any benefits for those at or near retirement. I oppose efforts to privatize the system. And I am for a 100% fix, not a partial punt down the road that doesn't actually do anything, a 100% fix and forcing Congress to act before it's too late. The 8th Congressional District is middle class, working class families. How, how would you ensure that they continue to thrive in this area in Wisconsin? Well, they've been hit the hardest in the last seven years under this stagnant economy. Real wages are a 30 year low. People haven't gotten a pay raise in a long time and then they've been forced to accept these ridiculous health care plans where the deductibles are so high and their premiums are about to increase by 20 percent here in Wisconsin. The way we turn things around a few simple principles. One, we need to embark on regulatory reform. We are enveloping ourselves in a web of ridiculous regulations that are slowly strangling the middle class. Related to that, we need to simplify and clean up our tax code, which is a free-for-all for special interests. I mean, since we last did comprehensive tax reform in 1986, deductions, loopholes, special interest giveaway has uh, increased to the tune of $1.3 trillion. But I would also say, and the final thing, I'm sorry to go on here, but uh, I feel strongly about it. <laughs> um, we always forget the way in which our weak foreign policy inhibits growth here domestically. And the uncertainty abroad, the lack of stability abroad, the abandonment of American leadership abroad, and the corresponding lack of safety right here in Northeast Wisconsin creates a climate in which people don't want to invest. Northeast Wisconsin is continuing to lose manufacturing jobs. Um, and some people blame free trade agreements. Where do you stand on trade? And how do you propose that we bring those jobs back? We can't afford to turn and run from global competition. I mean, we have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And that's why we need to demand trade deals that are not only free, they're also fair. They're smart. And no two trade deals are created equally. Um, there is no such thing as purely free trade. It's always a negotiation, right? You're always driving a, an agreement with another country. And so it's the duty of Congress to review each of these trade deals and make sure that we're not dis we're putting our workers at a disadvantage. I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about um, border security and immigration reform. Just explain to me your stances there. I can tell you with 100% certainty, based on my own experience, the southern border is not secure. So we need to leverage the best technology we have, the best personnel we have to secure the southern border before we do anything else. Uh, one of the proposals I found most intriguing that uh, would help northeast Wisconsin in particular, we have a lot of dairy farmers that need workers, right? Um, is a state-based guest worker visa program where the states would be able to determine the number of workers they need and they would be given legal permits to work on a temporary process. Uh, they would be subject to mandatory entry and exit tracking. Uh, it would be completely legal. It would be in keeping with the needs of our economy and ultimately we need a system that's more flexible like that. And for more on Mike Gallagher, you can visit our website, NBC26.com. Next week, we profile the candidates from the U.S. Senate race as Marissa sits down with Ron Johnson and Russ Feingold.